Let's take a look at how we can use AI and particularly chat GPT to help us understand research articles. My example article is this uh, article by Sapienza on early internationalization. I use the same article in other videos where I talk about how you read theory articles. And how would we go about understanding this article? The traditional way that I teach students is that you need to first identify the key concepts and the key terms and find the definitions for those terms. They're often defined in the article. Sometimes you can uh, find them in Google. Sometimes the terms like age and growth are something that you have intuitive understanding of. Using AI and chat GPT allows for taking a shortcut with some big caveats. So uh, what you can do is that you can copy paste the article text into the GPT and ask the AI to summarize it for you. So how we would do it is that we take the article, we copy the text. This is a bit inconvenient to copy because it contains two paragraphs, two columns, but you can find uh, a single column version of this article on ResearchGate, for example, which is the version before it was formatted for the journal and uh, copy paste the text from there. So I copy paste the text to a text editor. And why I use text editor instead of copy pasting directly to, to GPT is that there are page numbers, there are footnotes and other things that I want to take away so that they don't throw off the AI. I'm not sure if they do, but I just thought that it is uh, good to make sure that there's nothing extra. So I just have the text of the article here. Then we put it in the chat, chat GPT and we ask it to summarize it to us in simpler terms. And the answer comes, it's pretty much correct. Only one small detail is that this is not about establishing your company in a foreign country, but it's about expanding an existing company into a foreign market. So uh, this 95% correct, only the first sentence contains a small error. What's more, we can also ask for follow-up questions and clarifications. So we can ask, uh, what does imprinting mean? That was a term I saw used in the article introduction. And it tells that correctly that imprinting refers to uh, things that happen early on in the company, uh, company life cycle that have long-lasting consequences. Then I wanted to know a bit more about what role the imprinting play, process plays in the theory. And I ask that question and then I get an answer about mice. So this is not a biology article. How would the AI in, uh, suddenly pivot to talking about mice? Well, it's because how the AI is trained, it's trained to predict what word comes next. And then that allows it to write answers. And it's trained with large amounts of, of data and imprinting is often discussed in the context of biology. So it was uh, answering based on the context that we gave, but based on also the training material. And now it gets, gets it horribly incorrect. So this is a, a good AI for generating text, but it is not very smart. So you need to be very critical of what it gives you. It might, you give, might give you a correct answer, or it, it might give you something that is completely incorrect. Let's take a look at another example. I wanted to understand what is research fungibility. It means that the resource can be used for different purposes. That's correct. And uh, then I wanted to ask what is moderator and what are the uh, arguments that the article makes for supporting moderators. So moderator is uh, a variable that affects the relationship between two other variables. They are the first sentence has something correct, but then there is a renewable energy comes up. We don't know why. And uh, then it says that there are three moderators, which is correct. One is fungibility. That's right. Another one, imprinting, not true. Social norms, not true. So uh, resource fungibility is correct. And then uh, the other, the uh, other contain things about renewable energy which is not related to this article at all. So is this a useful way of reading articles? I think with some caveats, it is useful. So the caveats are that 
this is very good at summarizing text. So you can tell that, tell the AI that this is a big piece of text, make it shorter so that you just tell me the main idea. And it does that job really well, as we saw in the first response. Then you can it can explain you terms that when you ask follow-up questions, but it might get those incorrect. So it can explain things, but it can go also horribly wrong. So reading, using this AI and asking questions about an article is definitely not a substitute for reading the article, at least at the time of recording, but it can be a useful thing as a first step when you want to have just like a big picture understanding on what the article really is about. And there the summarization function can be really, really useful.